Welcome to the latest episode of Tech This Week. Elon Musk's Neuralink has FDA approval. Elon Musk's Neuralink has announced a significant milestone in its mission to enable direct communication between brains and computers. The Brain Machine Interface company has received clearance from the US Food and Drug Administration to proceed with its first in human clinical study. This approval is seen as a crucial step forward for Neuralink's groundbreaking technology. While the recruitment for the clinical trial has not begun yet, Neuralink aims to facilitate direct brain computer communication soon. Elon Musk had previously explained that the implantable Neuralink device would enable individuals to interact with computers using their minds. White House takes new step to study AI risks. The White House said on Tuesday that it would ask workers how their employers use artificial intelligence to monitor them as it allocates federal investments in the technology which is expected to change the nature of work. The White House will hold a listening session with workers to understand their experience with employers' use of automated technologies for surveillance, monitoring and evaluation. This call will include gig work experts, researchers and policy makers. Netflix password sharing finally comes to an end. Netflix is rolling out its crackdown on password sharing more than a year after the pivot was first announced. The streaming company is limiting password sharing to people living in the same household. Account holders can add more people outside of the household for an extra dollar eight a month or they can use the transfer profile feature to prompt extra users to make their own accounts that they pay for. Netflix said out-of-household users should be receiving the emails about the change soon. However, there is no update about the password sharing coming to an end in India as of now. OTT platforms to show tobacco warning Have you ever went to watch a film at the cinemas and got distracted by the tobacco warning displayed whenever someone smokes on screen? Well, you can experience the same frustration on the smaller screen at your home now. OTT platforms may soon be mandated to display anti-tobacco warnings and disclaimers as seen in movies, screened in theatres and in television programmes with the health ministry likely to amend the relevant rules, officials said recently. Publishers of online curated content displaying tobacco products or their use will require to display entire tobacco health spots each of a minimum of 30 seconds at the beginning and middle of the program. They shall also be required to exhibit an entire tobacco health warning as a prominent static message at the bottom of the screen when tobacco products or their use are displayed in the program. Sony teases Project Q Sony is getting back to the handheld console space, but not in the way you think. The Japanese company on Thursday confirmed a new handheld gaming device internally known as Project Q. The announcement was made during Sony's PlayStation Showcase livestream. Instead of a follow-up to 2000's PlayStation Vita, the new device will be a cloud gaming system similar to devices like the Logitech G Cloud and the Razer Edge. That means that the portable console isn't designed to compete with Nintendo's popular Switch console or the Steam Deck. The device, which still doesn't have an official name, is very much designed to be used for PS remote play over Wi-Fi connection, requiring games to be installed on the PlayStation 5. So that was this week's Tech This Week episode. Do let us know down in the comments what you think about this one. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.